Hey guys, welcome to the Boeing 737-800 cockpit. As you can see here, we are in a dark and cold cockpit. First of all, we need some electrical power, yeah? In order to do it, we'll get the battery master switch on. As you can see, the battery discharge light is illuminated. We'll check the standby power switch is guarded closed. We'll check the alternate flaps master switch, guard is closed. Windshield wipers in the park position. And then we'll check the electric hydraulic pumps are in the off position. We'll check the landing gear lever is in the down position and we need to check the lights are illuminated. Okay, we need another source of electrical power before the battery runs out. So we have two options. We have the ground power unit, which is available here. You can see the light illuminated. And we have the APU. Let's select the ground power unit on. And you can see the lights get extinguished here. Now, if we need the APU, we need to do a fire test. In order to do the fire test, we come to the panel here and we'll make sure these switches are in and the overheat detect is in normal position. We're going to select the fold in up position and we're going to see the master caution illuminating, the overheat detect, fold and APU detect in up. Then we'll select the other position, which is the fire overheat. We'll hear the bell and we'll see the lights coming on. Lastly, we'll check the ex fire extinguisher, position number one and position number two. Okay, now that the fire test is completed, we can start the APU. Once the APU Gen off bus light is illuminated, we can select the APU Gen on bus. And this step completes the electrical power up. You guys, please stay tuned for the next video. We'll be talking about preliminary pre-flight procedure. If you like this video, give me a like, subscribe to my channel and share. See you next time.